Welcome back to Grumpy Vet Garage. Today we're back on my 2007 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD and fixing a common problem that you find on Silverado trucks, but really any GM truck from this era, which is this broken piece right here. Uh, what's underneath here is a clip that holds this trim piece back. And these doors, well, really the truck in general, they're, they're getting older and these plastic pieces, they start to get brittle and stuff like this happens. So the way we're going to fix this is with a 3D printed insert. This part here inserts into the door panel and replaces the plastic that's broken that holds this clip. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start removing the door panel so I can show you how we install this. Okay, to start removing the panel, we have to pry off a few things. Starting with the door lock uh, bezel that needs to be pulled off. The bezel that goes around your uh, door release handle and then the cover that goes over where the uh, side mirror is mounted. So you'd use a, uh, a pry tool like this because you don't want to mess up your um, door panel. Again, these trucks are getting older and these parts are getting harder to find, so be careful with this, but we'll start by prying that off. Now with those panels removed, we can then go to uh, removing a seven millimeter here and a seven millimeter that's behind the actual door grab. Um, before going too far, uh, on this piece, the clips are on top that you need to pry. So don't pry from the bottom, pry from the top and then it'll rock out. Um, these pieces came out. This one, I ended up having to pull the door handle to slip it over, uh, but just take your time. You don't want to break anything. Next, move, using your pry tool again, you need to pull this clip on the front of the uh, door panel. And then back here, there's a cover that goes over a T20 screw that needs to be removed. So go ahead and pop out the front and then use a T20 to remove the screw in the rear. So now with those removed, you can actually grab the door panel and lift up and pull it away from the door. Now, as it's pulled away, you can see what's still connected right there, I'm sorry, is the wiring. So we need to disconnect those wires and I'll try to show you those after I've disconnected them. It's a little difficult to get in there and show you now. Okay, all of these are relatively easy to remove except for this one. You see right there in the middle, there is a tab that needs to be pushed down and then that lever will cam over. But if you don't push the bottom tab, it won't move. So before I forget, there is one more uh, connector in the back of the door panel. This is for the light that illuminates the panel in the back. You need to depress that and pull it out. It's pretty easy. Um, these um, are standard, like you push and then pull out. But this one again is the cam over one. Went ahead and moved into the garage. The wind was kicking up. And here's the panel here. Uh, we need to remove this switch panel so that we can fix this clip. Uh, but before doing that, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, it really helps out uh, the, uh, the channel to grow. Also like this video, share this video with other friends that might have this same problem on their GM truck. Um, but also we have a Grumpy Vet Garage merch store. Uh, hoodies, zip ups and pullovers, as well as t-shirts. So if you want uh, something for yourself, link to that store is in the description below and it really helps out the channel as well. But now let's go ahead and put the panel over and I'll show you how to remove this switch panel off of the main panel. With the panel flipped over, you can see the last harness we need to disconnect is this one right here. It's a, a depress and pull. And then this is the controls for your heated seats. And then it leaves this panel right here. The clip that we're trying to fix is broken on this side of the panel, but we're needing to remove this seven millimeter screw right here. And then this whole panel will slide off the front. Now that that's free, we need to flip the panel back over, remove this, and I'll show you the repair area. With the panel flipped over, now you need to carefully remove this panel from the, uh, the door panel. And this part right here, it likes to get stuck. So you just need to kind of push it up and then this will slide free. This isn't what the, isn't the part that's broken. This clip is still good. So we can set this part aside. What is broken is this section right here. You can see where this is broke and it used to make a clip to hold uh, or used to make a hole for the clip to go into. So now we see this area here that's broken. We're trying to use this 3D printed piece to slide in here and replace this broken area. But as you can see, the thickness of the 3D printed piece, it needs to be cut in here 
to allow this to slide flush because the location of the clip isn't going to change. So we can't just slip this in here, cut that tab off and call it good. It needs to sit back where this opening is exactly where this opening is here. So what I'm gonna do is get a Sharpie and mark out the areas on here that I need to trim away to make this opening uh, clearance enough to slide into where it needs to go. Okay, as you can see, I turned around and marked where I think I need to remove, trying to match the thickness of this to this black line. I probably need to make that black line a little bit thicker to uh, sink it further in, and I'll probably do that before I start cutting. But once, once you have it marked out how you like it and how you believe it's going to fit, uh, go ahead and start cutting. I think your best tools for doing something like this is going to be a sharp, sharp utility blade and patience. You don't want to go at this too aggressive and break this area. You still need this plastic area here on the door panel to hold this properly. Um, this is just um, to augment that. But yeah, you just need to slowly trim it back. Be careful, patient. Don't cut off too much and make it fit in there. Here's the results after trimming. It's a very tight fit. Um, I, I used the uh, utility knife at first, but then I just found that it would have been faster to use a cutoff wheel on a Dremel. I slowly worked my way up, test fitting, and there you go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the panel back together and put it back on the truck and I'll show you how it looks. Door panel's back on and the switch is very firmly in place very very firmly in place i highly recommend if you have a broken panel here this was an easy way to fix it very inexpensive again i'm going to leave a link in the description of where you can pick up that 3d printed piece um but yeah this is this is definitely the way to go but again uh, if you like this kind of content please consider subscribing to the channel uh sharing this video with other friends that may have a truck with a with a problem like this and i hope that i was able to help you uh solve this problem for yourself but again, thanks for coming and seeing me in my garage. And until next time, have a good one.